In this tutorial, we're going to install Magic Zoom Plus into NetObjects Fusion Essentials. We'll start by downloading the free trial of Magic Zoom Plus, and that's coming down to my desktop right now. Here's the zip file, so we're going to unzip that and put it onto the desktop, and we're going to find the, the critical files that we need. Here it is, the Magic Zoom Plus folder. Inside that is the JavaScript and the CSS files, plus a few graphics that you'll need in the enlarged uh, feature of Magic Zoom Plus. So let's just go back. We're going to copy that folder into the root of our NetObjects Fusion site. My site is in a folder called Test. So I'm just going to copy it in there. And there's the folder in there. The other important thing that you need before you start is all your images ready so you can swap between your images and zoom into them. I've got three sets of images here. There's a very large image and then a smaller image. Oops. There's the smaller image. And then I've got a really tiny one as well. So we've got three sets of images. One is blue, one is grey and one is red. OK, into NetObjects Fusion, and we're going to insert an image. We're going to grab the, the medium size, which I've called small. In it goes, there's the blue one. And we can just move that around to anywhere we like on our, on our page. And we're going to link it to a file. And we're going to link it to the large version of our image. So it's that one. And save that. So in it comes here, we're now going to edit the HTML and inside the link we're going to put a class of Magic Zoom Plus. Just like that. And OK. And link. Right, so that's in. Next we're going to insert links to our CSS and JavaScript files. So right click, go to Layout HTML and between the head tags we're going to paste in some code from the Magic Zoom Plus integration page copy that code there and paste it between the head tags and just adjust it because the location of our CSS and JavaScript files are just uh, one folder below so double dot and slash to go back a folder and OK that and that's it. Now we've installed Magic Zoom Plus. Let's go to page preview to see it working. That's the zoom. There's the enlarge. So the next step is to do some customization to make it just how we want it. We're going to go to the image, click link, go to the HTML, and inside the link we can add a rel tag. And inside this rel tag we can add all the options that, we, that we'd like to to insert. So back in the Magic Zoom Plus integration to choose the options you want, scroll to the bottom of that page and you'll find a long table of parameters. I think we're going to add some background opacity just to give it some, uh, some color when you enlarge the image. So we're going to paste that into, the, into that rel tag. And we'll give it some opacity of 50. OK that link and preview and this time you can see when we've enlarged it the the background behind the enlarged image has gone slightly opaque All right, let's close that and let's add some some more options we're going to get a link back into the HTML inside the link and a semicolon ready for our next customization what else shall we add let's change the size of the zoom. Let's make it wider. So zoom hyphen width back into NetObjects Fusion. Copy that in there and zoom width. Let's make it 450 pixels. OK. Link. Page preview. And now you can see that the zoom area just got wider. Uh, let's add one more thing while we're at it. So click onto the image, link, HTML inside the link, and over to the options. Let's add some fading in of the of the image zoom. It's set to false by default, so we'll change that. 
So copy the zoom fade parameter and just paste that semicolon zoom fade colon true. OK. Link and page preview. And as you can see, it's zooming in, it's fading in and fading out on the zoom. That's a nice effect. OK, so that's it. You've got Magic Zoom Plus working on your NetObjects Fusion Essentials site. The next thing you might want to do is add a few more images so that you can switch between them and change the, the colour of this shoe, for example. So back in a page design, and we're going to add a few more images underneath. Let's add them tiny images this time. There's the blue. There's the grey. And that should be a red one. Okay, so let's just move them up a bit like that. And that looks good. Now we need to add a link from the tiny image to the very large image. So browse, big, and in comes the big image. Save that. Okay, link, a grey one. Browse, find the gr large grey image. There it is. Save and link. And the red one. Link. Let's browse. Find the big image. Save it and insert the link. Now go back to the Magic Zoom Plus integration page and scroll up to the multiple images section and you'll see an example there of how it works. This has the main image and then three thumbnail images just like in our example on in NetObjects Fusion. So the first thing we'll do is add an ID into the into the main image. So let's go back, go to the link, go to the HTML, inside the link, and we'll add an ID of shoe. Okay, and link. And now we need to add rel and rev tags to all the three thumbnails. So click the link, go to the HTML, and inside the link, paste in a rel with a zoom ID of shoe, and then the location of your medium size images. So we'll just add those in. So that happens to be the location of my images. So, OK. We'll copy that and OK it. Insert the link. And now we'll put the grey one in. And I'd copied that, so I'll just paste that line and adjust the blue to grey. And link. And do the same for the red. HTML inside the link. Paste it. And red okay now those files that you added the the, the medium sized images for the gray and the red haven't been included in part of the site they won't they won't be picked up automatically by net objects fusion so we need to go to the assets and we need to specify those two new assets it's already got the blue small image because that was in the original image but we need to tell it that the gray image now needs to be published and that the red image needs to be published with the site. So in those go, and we'll now go back to the page and have a look at the preview, and it's working. So we can flick now between all three different sizes and colors. You can put as many as you like in there. They, they, could, be, they could be 10 or 20, however many images you like. So flick between them and, and zoom between them. And that is Magic Zoom Plus for Net Objects Fusion.